What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and I am here at San Diego Comic-Con. It is an absolute madhouse here. I'm actually in front of the Chalice Collectibles booth right now. And I, I don't know, let's go check out, see what they have for sale here at the booth. We're doing a bit of a pop hunt today. If you didn't know how that works here, we're gonna look for some pops around the con, see what's happening, check out some other exclusive items. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already for more content from San Diego Comic-Con. But without any further delay, let me quit wandering in circles and check out the Chalice booth. All right, so up here we got some mega grails, as you can see, like these are actually graded pops that you can see right here. Pretty freaking cool in my opinion. Uh, we do have some $70 pops right here. These are signed pops and then they go down $60, $50 down there closer to the bottom. Look at some of these. We got a, with it, we got this Vegeta Chase right here. And then we have some of these summer convention exclusive pops happening over here. There's, look at how deep this place goes. Like, they got a whole booth over here at Comic-Con with tons of stuff to check out. Like, so I'm getting the backstage access right here though. Don't tell anybody. But uh, yeah, uh, more summer convention exclusive pops happening right here. So many cool things. I love this Wanda Maximoff pop. It is absolutely amazing. And look at that, we have Silk. We have He Who Remains. Oh my goodness, we got the He-Man pop going on there. Oh, I just saw this graded War Machine pop too. This thing is awesome. But yeah, I mean, as you can tell, there's a lot of stuff happening here at the Chalice booth during San Diego Comic-Con 2022. But let's go ahead and uh, head out somewhere else and uh, see what else the con has to offer. And you know we have to go check out the Funko booth to see what's left at the end of the day pretty much. Look at this. There's the Funko booth happening there and there is not much left as you can see like just kind of the remnants of pops. so many empty shelves there going on oh my goodness but this is what it looks like this is their whole setup it's actually pretty cool let me back up and get like a better shot of this whole thing look at that really cool looking big sign right there Funko Pop Diner at the end so many cool things there's really not a ton left here though. This is the end of the day, mind you, but I have a feeling we'll get a, a closer look at this in the near future, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm trying to make my way across the con floor. It is extremely busy though, and right now, we're gonna go ahead to Entertainment Earth because I hear that they have some pretty new uh, Target exclusives that we need to check out. All right, so I'm upstairs right now at the Entertainment Earth booth and uh, I got a little VIP access up here, but they gave me this goodie bag full of stuff, so I figured we open it up and uh, see what's in it. All right, so we got our little bag here. I have no idea what's in this, by the way. They just handed this to me as I came up the stairs. Oh, wow, so many things in here. Okay, okay, okay. So the first item we have, oh, look at this. We got a cute little Target dog pin. Little Target dog pin. We have uh, what I believe is a G.I. Joe pin. We have, oh, another another Target dog. I like this, probably my favorite one. And I think this is, yes, it is another Target dog pin. And then we have, uh, oh, the Entertainment Earth pins. I actually think I have these from 2019 Comic-Con. And then we have these little um, badge uh, flags that you can put on that kind of talk about some of their exclusives here, which we'll check out their Funko exclusives here in a little bit. Um, and then, oh, we have I Run in the Exhibit Hall, some Entertainment Earth stickers, and let's see what this is. Cooking with Misty, it's a big shirt with a bunch of mushrooms on it. I don't catch the reference, but if you catch the reference, let me know in the comments section. All right, so hold on. We're gonna go out here for a second here because on this table, we have literally all of their exclusives. Like this is everything that they're selling that is exclusive at this booth right here. And I know some of y'all are interested in these pops, right? So we got pops. I'm personally interested in the Frog of Thunder back there. I'm gonna grab some of these real quick, some of these exclusives. I'll take them in the other room and I'll show you them and we'll see what they're all about. All right, I got some pops. So the first one that I have here is the Frog of Thunder from Loki. First of all, look at this view up here. Second, this is such a cool pop because He's inside 
of the jar. Now, you know that I'm curious about this, so we're going to set this down here real quick. I'm just curious to see if it actually comes out of the jar. All right, so I got it out of the box. You can see, look at the details on this. It's so cool. But it does not sadly come out of the jar. He is glued into the jar like that. But this is a cool out of box display piece right here. Next up, Entertainment Earth exclusive pop here. Look at this, J. Jonah Jameson. And that is just super rad. So this is obviously um, from the Beyond Amazing uh, line of Spider-Man pops. And look at that on his newspaper, he has Spider-Man, threat or menace. Pretty cool. Um, we also do have Digital Stan, which is a glow in the dark uh, summer convention exclusive here. Also comes with a con sticker over at the Funko booth. And another one that I actually really do like is Scarlet Scarab from Moon Knight. Again, with that uh, summer convention exclusive sticker, there is a con stickered version of this, but this is obviously part of the Moon Knight pops. Now, there's just way too much over here to like take every single pop into that secret room and show you everything. But I will say some of my favorites out of their exclusives here on this table, uh, well, definitely the pops that I showed you. Um, but look at this. We also have some DC Multiverse figures right here, which are super duper cool. Lex Luthor power suit and then Owl Man, super rad. Uh, we do have a uh, Shang Chi Legend of the Ten Rings. We have look at that with the bracelet and the green pendant necklace here, and we do have a bunch of Black Series Star Wars figures as well. And there are some Hot Wheels exclusives here also. But I mean, they have tons of stuff here at the Entertainment Earth booth. Uh, a lot of it is just exclusive to San Diego Comic Con. So. If you happen to be here at Comic-Con, definitely swing by and check out all the stuff that they have for sale. All right, so we're walking out and about again, and ooh, I love these Beast Kingdom figures. Look at these Batman figures. Look at that Joker right there, they're really cool. Oh my gosh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Scrooge, and we have Donald Duck. They have a lot of cool figures at Beast Kingdom. Um, look at all these Star Wars, we have Boba Fett, Iron Man, we have the Mark 85 Iron Man down here. And look at Bro Thor from Endgame. Oh my God, these are so cool. It's an absolute madhouse here, y'all. Like, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's just, there's so much happening. A sea of people everywhere. Admittedly though, it's a little less giant than it has been in previous years, but only by a little. Right now we are heading back to Chalice Collectibles because I'm going to open up a mystery box. And I don't know, I figured, why not? All right, all right, all right I gotta pick a mystery box right now. And I think I'm, I think I know what I'm doing. Not that one, but that one. The one inside of the cube is what we need to go for. Let's rub, rub it for some good luck. Right, because that's what the kids do. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's inside the mystery box. These are $20 mystery boxes, by the way, at Chalice. Um, I've always been a big fan of, I, I literally like founded my channel on Chalice mystery boxes. Uh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna try to find the bottom. I don't know if this is upside down or not, but I'm gonna show y'all first before I look. Oh, the orange Batman from Toy Tokyo. Actually, you know what? I used to have this a long time ago, like a long time ago, like years ago. I used to have like almost all of the Chrome Batmans. So this one is very nostalgic for me. So you saw the win, got the orange Chrome Batman from Charles Collectibles. We checked out some cool stuff, but this is only literally day one. So I have a whole bunch more stuff to show y'all. Funko booth behind me again, but that being said, um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.